In this video, we will be looking at how water is reabsorbed into the blood in nephrons. By this stage, you should be familiar with ultrafiltration and selective reabsorption. These processes take place in the glomerulus and the proximal convoluted tubule. This picture shows the nephron surrounded by the capillaries. The water will pass from the nephron into the interstitial region and from the interstitial region back into the capillaries. To understand reabsorption of water, it's easiest to start at the loop of Henle. At the loop of Henle, the nephron has the lowest water potential, so at this point, water should move into the nephron by osmosis, but the loop of Henle and the ascending limb are impermeable to water. As we go up the ascending limb, sodium ion protein channels pump sodium out of the ascending limb into the interstitial region. This lowers the water potential in the interstitial region and increases the water potential in the ascending limb. But water cannot move out of the ascending limb as it is impermeable to water. The ascending limb continues to pump sodium ions out. This further increases the water potential in the ascending limb. Now, at the distal convoluted tubule, at the top of the ascending loop of Henle, the water potential in the nephron is very high. Over here, the water moves out of the distal convoluted tubule into the interstitial region. From the interstitial region, the water enters the capillaries, which means it is reabsorbed. The water that remains in the distal convoluted tubule passes into the collecting duct. From the collecting duct, the water will pass into the ureter. At the proximal convoluted tubule, the water potential in the nephron is higher. The water potential in the interstitial region is lower due to the ascending loop pumping out the sodium ions. This leads to water leaving the proximal convoluted tubule and the descending loop by osmosis. This reduces the water potential in the nephron until it reaches the loop of Henle. The key points to remember are water in the interstitial region passes into the capillaries by osmosis. Sodium ions are pumped out of the ascending loop, lowering the water potential in the interstitial region. Water moves out of the nephron at the proximal convoluted tubule, the descending loop and the distal convoluted tubule. All these processes are required to reabsorb water back into the capillaries. If we did not reabsorb the water, we would produce huge amounts of urine and become dehydrated very quickly.